Hi and welcome to another Raggy's Gardening Tips. Well, not really a tip today, just a look around the garden. And like most people at the moment, everything is going dry. I'm luckily I'm not on a um, water meter so I can water the garden, you know, at will. And if you look around my garden, you know, things of the colour, you know, there's still some nice colour coming along in the garden. The Galadias are looking great down there. Um, I can't remember the name of this. <laughs> no, I did put it in years ago. And it's looking nice. Uh, my nursery area is, uh, I've split loads of um, these Lobelia, perennial Lobelias. And... Uh, Harvested the seeds last year and look at how many there's there, you know, there's probably 15 in that part, if not more. And uh, they're going to work tomorrow, I'm actually going to take them to work. In the greenhouse, got some penstemons that are growing, I'm trying to get them to get go to seed at some stage so I can harvest the seed. Got some verbena that I sowed, verbena benariensis, coming on lovely. Finally... Micolius is starting to do something. Um, took a long time to go from seed. Not easy at all. I've got some perennial ver um, Rebecca's off where from where I work. Absolutely hundreds of seedlings in there. Certainly a job for a day when there's no football on. And again, they there, that's perennial Lobelia. And literally, look how many seeds are there. You know, hundreds. I'm giving that to a local school. Um, and this, this is a slightly bigger version. Here is Dianthus from Seed. A bit late, but I'm not overly worried. And there's some grasses that I, I harvested, and I can't remember the name of the grasses um, at the moment. But they're coming along nicely as well. They really ought to come out of there. As you can see from the other week, the garden's starting to move along now. Dahlias are starting to put a bit of an height on. The grasses have settled in lovely. Polyanthus are all, uh, primulas rather, the primulas are, are all tucking nicely. And because I'm watering the dahlias, they're getting water. They love a watery climate anyway. So they really are, it's really getting encouraging now. Even here, you know, the dahlias are going to take over. So everything below will be shaded out. But... The polys won't, the primulas won't mind that anyway. In the garden. <coughs> As you can see the dahlias, where the forget-me-nots ruled the board of the other week, the dahlias are now taking over. And uh, with a mixture of dahlias and primulas. <coughs> oh dear. Even some dahlias already in flower and look at this. For this time of the year, I mean, this, that is over three foot high, and it's the 26th of June, you know, quite impressive. All around now, the dahlias that were struggling are all starting to make their way through. Put some slug pellets down, uh, just try and hold back the slugs and snails, at least until they get a bit bigger. I'm still waiting these primula candelabras to go to seed to develop the seed heads more then I'm gonna harvest the seed heads sow them straight away and try and get hundreds for the winter bedding scheme and that's, I mean the weeds are starting to come through again some I'm waiting to see what they are some that are obvious I mean obviously that's a dandelion you know obvious but been at work all day and on a day like today you know sometimes you have to retreat you know from the garden right there we go and that's it really for today's update the grass I've been watering my grass I've killed the weeds off some are taking a while to go actually like there it's taking a while to go but they are dying so I've got some brown patches on my lawn where the, some have died and some are dying. Um, I may have to give it a quick whiz over again because some of this isn't going as quick as I thought. But because I've been watering, the grass is still quite nice and green. I wouldn't say it's perfect by no means, but it's not bad. 
Whereas if you look on some people's lawns now, it's gone to dust all around the country because there's no rain and no rain on the horizon either. Right, and that's all for today's uh, quick look around the garden. Enjoy the sun, but get some shade and keep out this, uh, try and water, keep things watered because obviously plants are dying in this weather. At work, my allotment at work, we are, my budding plants are, after five days nobody watered. They turned the hose pipes off without me, you know, knowing. And uh, I've walked back in today and everything is absolutely desperate and some stuff's gone over. So, key to keeping water. Give everything a good dousing. And thanks for watching. Cheers.